Hey guys, welcome back to the Survivor Solo Run. In this episode, we are rebalancing the champion. Um, Predator, I gave Predator the Dread Plate instead because I, I figured he's going to use Crunch a little bit more. And there's his stats. Um, last you're going to see, well, actually, not last you're going to see them, but. Okay, anyway, um, let's not hesitate and move on to the champion. <sighs> I have done about 12 or 13 attempts at battling this chick. She's not easy, I'll say that much. So hopefully, after being like 22 attempts of recording this, I'll get lucky. So here we go. Okay, so she starts out with her spirit tomb, obviously. It's level 74, and we're faster than it. It's kind of obvious about that, but um... We just have to start our double team spam, and she has, her spirit team has psychic, unfortunately. Not great at all. And on top of that, you get a critical hit. Wow. Freaking, you freaking. You're a little bit bitch. What the hell? Okay, but anyway, um. When her psychic. When this spirit team psych psychic hits Predator. Predator can usually take two of them, usually, because it always randomly does it, randomly hits the first time. It's like a random number generator. The highest I've seen Predator survive with this 151 HP, and this time it survived with 131. So, hopefully we get a miss here. Come on. Yes, alright, I think that was two double teams, actually, three. I'm not keeping track. But I'm not taking the risk of her hitting and killing me, so... Yeah, okay. 140. Okay, so I misses again. Great! It's always nice to see mishacks when you, when you want it. Oh, sweet. Three, three mishacks in a row. Wow. Come on, let's keep the streak going, Predator. Four mishacks in a row. Oh, wow. Come on, Predator. You're on a roll today. This is the most I've seen mishacks in all the attempts of me recording this. I've never seen four in a row before. Five in a row. Oh, my lord, Predator. Can I, can I have six, please? Six? Oh, okay, five in a row. That's actually pretty great, because I, I managed to pull off the whole six double team spam, and that time you survived 143, which that tells me you can survive another one. So, I'm gonna do this. Using a dire hit. Um, I don't have any X defense or nothing. I, the only other X item I have is X special, and I'm not gonna use special attacks. Well, actually I am, but not against Garchomp. Um, so hopefully, that, with that dire hit, I get a critical hit on that Garchomp. And I'm going to heal up right now because I want to be at full HP when that Garchomp comes into play. Autonomous win that you missed. Okay. And yeah, Crunch is neutral on Spirit Tomb because it's Ghost and Dark. I think it's the only type combination that has no weaknesses. Okay, there we go. Oh, great, here comes her freaking little pet dragon. Whoop de do. Okay, Earthquake miss. Okay. Earthquake, when this thing uses Earthquake, it's a guaranteed kill on Predator. Oh, well, I think it's a guaranteed kill. Oh my god, no way. Oh lord. Okay, okay, come on. Survive it. Survive. No, 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 no. Oh, 11 HP. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. I am a motherfucking survivor. You cannot kill me with your stab earth click. I don't care if you're Uber or not. Predator will survive. Yeah, screw you in the face. 
just get rid of that eight, that damage it pulled off. And now we can get the. Hopefully we can get two more crunches in on this guy. What the fuck? Uh, okay then, that's great for you, I guess. I guess that, actually, that is a great prediction. You're predicting my crunch, so you go into a Pokemon that's four times resistant to it. So makes sense, makes sense. But I didn't go for any attacks, so yeah, you lost that bet. Dumbass. Okay, that's one less Pokemon for you. Out oh, goes Lucario. And here comes Garchomp again. Oh my. Alright, um, we gotta get, we gotta heal that damage up. I sort of god, I hope it doesn't hit again. I seriously hope it does not hit. Cause it's just. Ooh, oh my god. I'm like, I'm literally shivering right now. It's just. Yeah. Two! Oh, sweet! Okay, come on, hit. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Critical hit! Fuck you in the face! God damn you. Just like I handled it last time. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck you. Okay, I'm basically home free now. Okay, so. Toga kiss. Poison jab in the face. Excessive cuss language for the win. Oh my god, two two crits in a row. Fuck you, Cynthia. This is definitely what I deserve after 23 times of battling you. Just, yeah, believe it or not, I did count, so. I wrote, a, I wrote out a list on how far I got in all those tries, and I only beat, I only beat her spirit team in all, all those tries. Okay, you're going for Octa Ring. I'm definitely going to handle it. I'm definitely going to kill you now. Critical- oh wow, okay. That didn't really matter, because, yeah. You're going to kill anyway. Okay, so Rose Ray, you're pretty much screwed because I have flamethrower. You don't remember when you were put in, in the corner like this? How about like like 16 episodes ago? Or no, 17 episodes ago when I first battled you, you freaking got owned. Because my predator was the same level as your guard chomp that you have now. And yeah, now it's level 92. Okay, oh wow, that was really survived, I just don't notice that. Alright. I should just go for poison jabs since it's a neutral, but... Well, no, go for a super effective move, why not? Just... Why not? And that was Cynthia, guys, after 23 times of battling her. I finally beat her. And Cynthia has been defeated yet again. Hell yeah. And we get like a crap load of money for that table, like it matters. So yeah, guys, that is it. I'm basically calling it a, a close. The solo run is pretty much over, actually, since I have nothing else to do in this game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back to the Hall of Fame and, Hall of Fame and everything. N not like nothing we haven't seen before, so no need to explain it again. But yeah, guys, the solo run's basically over now. Um, I have nothing else to do. I could go battle D uh, Dialga and Palkia and uh, all that crap, but I'm pretty sure by now everyone knows how to do that, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I wouldn't catch them, so they serve no point to me, because this is a freaking ROM, so not like I can put this on my DS or nothing. But, um... Yeah, that's basically it, guys. Nothing else to do in the game. Solar Run is pretty much over now. Um, so, after about... 
five months of basically yeah, pretty much five months of playing this doing a solo run. It's finally over. And there he is, Predator the Survivor, level 92. And playtime 21 hours, 19 minutes, and all that great stuff. Predator, you're awesome. But just because this is the end of the solar run doesn't mean there's nothing else to do. I mean, I mean, what am I trying to say? I'm going to make, an, in the next episode of, of the solar run, I'm just going to be doing some major announcements and stuff, So make and some special stuff to, with Predator, so make sure you guys watch that next episode, which is the true final episode of the solar run, and, and watch the credits if you wish. And here they are. But, um... I actually did a, um... I should move it to the bottom screen, shouldn't I? Because I did the top screen the first time. Or no, I did a bottom screen the first time, didn't I? Yeah. Um. Yeah. But anyway, the next episode of the Viper Solar Run. Um. Just doing some major announcements. Um. And some. Some pretty interesting things with Predator. Um. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And, uh. Yeah. Basically it, guys. Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna move it to the bottom screen now, so. Yeah. Okay, let's try to do this without showing my desktop. And. There we go. Okay, close enough, close enough, okay. Alright, guys. You guys enjoy the credits if you wish. I'll. Talk to you all in the next the next final episode of the Viper Solar Run. See you later.